Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be comparing iOS 17.4 versus the latest iOS 17.4. Point one, of course, we've been waiting for Apple to release this update in hopes that they fix a few issues that many iPhone users continue to report. Now, these are going to be two iPhone 15 Pro Maxes here that I'm going to be testing, putting head to head. And let's go into settings here. Let's go into general. Let's go into the about section and confirm 17.4 on the left. And let's go into general about and 17.4.1 here on this device on the right. Now, the first thing I want to do is test things like animations and and Bluetooth. We'll talk about Wi-Fi and CPU performance and things of that nature. But the first thing I want to talk about is animations. Many iPhone users reported that their iPhones was freezing, having issues with animations on iOS 17.4, and hopefully 17.4.1 will address those issues for you guys. But as you can see here, launching apps on this iPhone uh, next to each other, it doesn't look like anything is happening in terms of animation stutters or issues navigating the OS. Things are looking pretty good. One of the things that I did encounter was freezing when unlocking my iPhone so I'm gonna go ahead here and lock both of these iPhones and then try to wake them up and unlock at the same time and it looks like things are looking pretty good so let's go ahead and do that one more time swipe up and it looks like animations are working pretty good pretty solid in my experience over the past 24 hours I can't say that the iPhone has stuttered on either operating system here and things are looking pretty good so far in terms of animations as you can see right here when launching apps on this iPhone and scrolling through the software things are looking pretty buttery smooth in my experience on both operating system now the next thing I want to talk about is Bluetooth so last night I went ahead and tested multiple pair of airpods including my favorite airpods max here and when I popped them out of the case both devices on both updates recognize the AirPods. Everything went as intended. I did have an issue on iOS 17.4 where my AirPods third generation were just not being recognized. It was very annoying. I went hours without them being recognized by the software. But after testing 17.4 and 17.4.1 last night with the Max, it looks like the connection has been persistent. The connection is solid so far. If I have any additional updates in terms of Bluetooth, I'll let you guys know. But so far, it looks like Bluetooth is running pretty solid on iOS 17.4.1 as I was testing last night I didn't have any issues or stutter and the auto switch in between devices was snappy and spot on so hopefully those are signs of good things to come so Bluetooth things are looking pretty good now the next thing I want to talk about is CPU let's go ahead and run a test here with Geekbench 6 on both of these devices again 17.4 on the left 17.4.1 on the right let's go ahead and run the test at the exact same time and let's see which one fits finish first and we'll be back with the results okay so the test has been completed as you can see right here taking a look at iOS 17.4 single core score that's going to be 2,955 and the multi-core score 7,288 again that's going to be 17.4 now 17.4.1 single core score is 2,938 so slightly lower on 17.4.1 in terms of CPU performance for this particular test and the multi-core score this one I did not see coming 7,129 multi-core score on 17.4.1 so that's a actually a significant drop there in terms of performance for this particular test so in terms of CPU test 17.4 definitely outperformed 17.4.1 so now what I want to do is go ahead and run a Wi-Fi test yes a lot of you guys continue to report poor Wi-Fi connection on iOS 17.4 now you may remember when I compare 17.3.1 versus 17.4 and 17.3.1 outperformed 17.4 now we're going to test 17.4 versus 17.4.1, the latest update. We're going to run the test first on 17.4 to see what those numbers look like. And obviously, both of these iPhones are connected to the same network here in the studio. And the network is capable of about 500 megabytes tops and download side. And it looks like the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max here on 17.4 approached 258 on the download side for the first test on 17.4. Now, when it comes to uploads, I typically get about 11 to 12 on the upload size so those are going to be the numbers for ios 17.4 so now let's run the test 
on 17.4.1 to see what those numbers look like to see if we have any improvement in terms of download speeds and connection stability and things of that nature so right now we're approaching about 250 on the download size so nearly the same amount of download numbers we're looking at here slightly higher maybe on iOS 17.4.1 when it comes to download speeds and when it comes to upload speeds I typically get anywhere from 11 to 12 to 13 depending on the device but on this network we typically get anywhere from 11 to 12 no more than that so yeah 11.9 so 17.4 on the left 17.4.1 on the right it looked like 17.4.1 slightly outperformed 17.4 in download speeds we're going to do that one more time let's set the iPhone aside here run it on iOS 17.4 again remember Remember, a lot of you guys continue to report poor Wi-Fi connection and the connection was sort of spotty and I have to say that I've encountered a few Wi-Fi issues just nothing drastic on 17.4 but it looks like this iPhone is doing pretty good with about 300 download maybe slightly higher than that on the second test 302 on the download side and when it comes to uploads as I mentioned anywhere from 11 to 12 is what I typically get on this network here so now let's go ahead and run the test on the iPhone running 17.4.1 one more time to see what those numbers look like and let's go ahead and run that test and then we'll continue with the video so right now let's go ahead and run it on 17.4.1 and we're approaching 300 quickly here so about 310 300 uh, dropping quickly again though it looks like we're dropping suddenly so let's see if we go back up here on 17.4.1 so actually on the second test we actually have iOS 17.4 outperform 17.4.1 slightly by a few megabytes so we're going to have to do one more test to sort of do a deal breaker here again upload side anywhere from 11 to 12 so let's run 17.4 one more time to see what those numbers look like on a third and final test here let's remove these devices over to the side here and let's see what those numbers look like so in terms of download once again anywhere from 200 to 300 it looks like we're approaching uh, 270 maybe 272 on the download side and again upload sides anywhere from 11 to 12 that's going to be the case here for iOS 17.4. So now let's go ahead and run the test on the iPhone running 17.4.1 for one more time and see what those numbers look like. So this is the third and final test on the same network, same location. Hopefully we get some improvements for Wi-Fi connection, connectivity, persistency, download speeds, improvements. So it looks like right now 17.4.1 once again appears to be outperforming 17.4 on the Wi-Fi test. So out of three tests, basically 17.4.11 versus 17.4. So outperform 17.4 so it's looking good based on these tests it looks like the performance of the Wi-Fi is slightly better uh, out of three tests to one iOS 17.4.1 so that is good news in terms of Wi-Fi which I know a lot of you guys continue to report spotty connection and issues with Wi-Fi so test the battery later and make sure to stay tuned here for the follow-up on the battery but it looks like so far in terms of animation Bluetooth CPU and the Wi-Fi things are looking pretty stable although on the CPU side 17.4 performs slightly better on the Wi-Fi side 17.4.1 performs slightly better so Things are looking okay so far. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. If you're running the latest 17.4.1, how's Wi-Fi for you? How's animation? How's Bluetooth? How's CPU performance? I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Thank you for watching this quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.